As I recommend anyone with a public facing server does, I was viewing the authentication logs for my blog website, which are all these right here. And besides the typical array of bot spams, I also had an error message that continually appeared. And it was always in pairs. And these two right here could not load host key and then the name of the key. And it would appear every now and then. So we'd have one here, then one here. Everywhere it's red, you can see this error. And if you don't know, authentication logs are located in this file right here on Linux machines. And basically this file just records authentication related events, such as login attempts on Linux systems. But I was concerned by the constant appearance of this error message. And so these error messages would appear whenever an SSH client attempted to connect to my server. So if you don't know, the SSH protocol requires a server to prove its identity to clients with host keys. And here my server or SSHD is trying to load its configured host keys to authenticate itself with the client but these keys are missing. So it's trying to load these keys right here to identify itself, but both of them can't be found, which is why it says could not load host key. So as these keys were missing, the SSH server would fall back to the key it did have, which if I go into my terminal and then I go to this directory and I can list out all the keys I have right here. And the key that it would, it would fall back to is this SSH host RSA key. And I'm, I was actually very lucky that this key was still available. If this key was missing too, then no host keys would be available and the SSH clients would be unable to verify the identity of my server, which essentially means that I would have been locked out. So if there are no valid host keys available, then SSH connections fail. So once again, my server was continuously looking for this key, and this key, and it couldn't find them. So what it would return is this key right here. And if you're curious as to how this is configured, usually it's in the location sshd config I list out here. And if you scroll up, there should be a section where it says host key and it lists them all right here. And so we can see my RSA key and then these ones here. And what essentially this means is these are the host keys that it will use and these ones couldn't be found. So it fell, it would fall back onto that one. So honestly, I'm not too sure how these keys disappeared, but if you, if I list out the stuff here, you can see I now have them both right here. And the way that I got them back is I just ran the simple command SSH keygen and then dash a and what this command would do is it just creates all the default host keys and so after I did that when I observed my logs again so these keys were now created if I switch this to newest first and I check my logs all these error messages had disappeared so I no longer had that error appearing every now and then so basically I just recommend that you check your authentication logs because you never know what could be going wrong in there if you like content like this make sure to like and subscribe also check out my software and my courses linked in the description. You'll learn something pretty cool. Besides that, take care. See you in the next one.